Hey guys, welcome to my video on the easiest methods to buy cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. So this is the most basic, easiest method really to get into buying some Bitcoin with some other fiat currencies. So if you have US dollars, uh, pound sterling, euros, Aussie dollar, whatever it is, and you want to actually go through and use that to buy some Bitcoins or other cryptos for the first time. That's really what I'm going to focus on. And in this one, I'm going to be using Binance as the service provider or trading platform for buying our Bitcoin. Binance really is one of, if not the biggest cryptocurrency trading platforms in the world. They handle a lot of volume and they are for me a good service, not just for beginners, but they have some more advanced trading features as well. So if you do become more advanced, the platform can grow with you. I'll make sure to put all the video timestamps in the description for you and also the link to the correct sign up page for Binance. So if you want to go along and follow with me, you can sign up for Binance using that link in the description. Let's get into Binance and see how it works. So I'll leave the link to sign up for Binance in the description so you know you're going to the right place. You should come through to this page, which is the home page, just giving you some prices of some cryptocurrencies right here. And then you can download clients for either mobile or desktop as well. If you want to know how to use the Binance app on your smartphone, check out the channel and the Binance playlist. You can download those clients for desktop, but I'm just going to use a browser right here. So come to register and then put in your email address and choose a password, or you can do it with your smartphone as well. Once you have your account set up with your details, your email address, your password and everything, then let's come to this page. And firstly, just set it up for you. So I've got it in English with US dollars here whatever currency that you want to see it in and language. Most are supported, so that's really great with Binance. Now, what I want to do before we actually come through just the really simple me method of buying Bitcoin and other cryptos is just come through to your settings page because it's really important that you get everything set up. So let's just come and press this one. And this is our dashboard. You'll see all of your holdings in here and all of your security options will be in here as well. Binance will always push you to verify your account and also increase the security protocols. This is really important and you can choose from either of these options. Now, phone verification is just gonna be an SMS text message to your mobile phone and that will just increase the security of it. Google verification actually uses the Google Authenticator app. Now you can go and download that from uh, the iOS app store or the Google Play store. And what will happen is that you can link up your two accounts and you can use the Binance app as well. Now, if you wanna know how to use the Binance app, certainly just look on the channel, go to the Binance playlist, it's all there for you. But it's a really great option and it does improve security. So you can use the Google Authenticator app. You can scan QR codes that Binance will give you when you log in. So it certainly increases the security. Now you can click off this, but if you do want to buy Bitcoins, you do have to set it up. As you can see, you have to set up the two factor authentication and you can either deposit funds or pay with a credit card as well. And we're going to go through those very simple options in this tutorial. Just to quickly go through your balance details, any currencies that you have on account, be it cryptocurrencies or fiat currencies, you will see them here and Bitcoin and I've got pound sterling and it will just give you a very simple overview of what you have on account. As you can see, it's not worth anything, but just to show you, this is my tutorial account. We're going to come up to security. It's really important to get all of this set up before you actually start buying. So before you do start buying, you do have to verify your identity and what you're going to need is a photo ID. So if you're in the UK, uh, your driving license is gonna work fine. If you're in other countries, I'm sure you have ID cards or passports. So just go through that setup. And as I said, two-factor authentication uh, needs to be set up as well. Any security breaches will actually be outlined here. So you can see your account activity, which is really important, and you can disable your account. So if you see a login or activity that wasn't you, either from a device that wasn't you or a time that wasn't you, you can come in here and disable the account temporarily and get things sorted out. So it's really important that you stay safe when trading cryptos. Before I tell you the very simple ways of buying Bitcoin, you can come down and see the fees that actually uh, Binance will charge you for trading on their system. Now Binance has amongst the lowest fee schedule of um, any cryptocurrency trading platform and it's kind of different depending on what you do. So the headline rate, as you can see here, for most consumers, you won't be a VIP. That's if you trade a lot of Bitcoin or equivalent 
amount of money each month. For most of us, it is going to be this one. The uh, rate is extremely low, so 0.1 of a percent. Now, this is almost going to be irrelevant for most people. Now, that is the trading fees if you use the Binance Exchange. You can come up to trade, then you could go to advanced, and you have the trading screen. Now, I'm not gonna go through this in this tutorial, this is more advanced. Now, if you've been trading cryptocurrencies or currencies for a while, you will be very familiar with this type of trading screen. And to be honest, it's not that complicated. I have other tutorials going through this trading screen and also trading uh, cryptocurrencies and normal currencies and uh, using the order book. I'm not gonna go through that though because this is more complex and we just want the easy way to do it. I will say though that if you do want to just go and use the easy way, the fees are of course higher because what you're essentially doing is using Binance as a broker or they are kind of providing a service for you. So they do charge you because of the payment system that you're gonna be using. You can use a credit card or you can actually deposit fiat currencies on account to buy. Now, what you have to do is decide what currency you want to use and sell to actually buy your cryptocurrency. And I'm just gonna use Bitcoin because I guess that's what most people want to do. But we can see pay with right here and it defaults to US dollar. And that's because my currency that I chose was US dollar, but you can change currencies right here. We can go to buy crypto. You can actually click right here and then change it. So if you have Australian dollars or other cryptocurrencies as well. So if you hold other cryptocurrencies and you want to deposit them to sell them to buy Bitcoin, then you can do that here. But I just wanna go firstly to credit and debit cards. So I'm just gonna click on this. Now obviously a credit and debit card, you're gonna be paying with a fiat currency, whether it's US dollars or pound sterling or euros or whatever. This is a really simple trading screen and it is great for beginners. You can see the chart right here. So uh, Bitcoin versus the US dollar. So this is essentially the price of Bitcoin versus the US dollar. And of course we do want to know this because we're obviously paying in US dollar. So that is very uh, good information to know. You can actually change it though. So this is Binance coin right here. So instead of buying Bitcoin, now you can see I clicked on Binance coin and then the coin that we're buying is now BNB, which is Binance coin. We can then change this to Link or we can change this to Ethereum and the coin that we are buying is changing. You can also come here and change it to anything. So let's click on XRP. You can see the chart changes. So this is XRP, the price of XRP versus the US dollar because how currency transactions work is that if you are buying one currency, you of course have to be selling a different currency. If you had, let's just make it easy and go to BTC. So we can just type in BTC right here and you can see it comes up. So we can just click on BTC right here. If I had Bitcoin, there's absolutely no reason why I would buy a Bitcoin with Bitcoin. That's impossible. The trade nullifies. You can't buy Bitcoin with Bitcoin because it's literally exactly the same. But you can actually use US dollars right here to buy Bitcoin. And so this is the price. Now, obviously, the price of Bitcoin is in a massive bull run currently at the time of making this. And you can see the chart right here. You can see one minute charts, one day charts. But really, it's very simple. Just use your credit card to purchase the Bitcoin, just like you would buy anything on Amazon. Now, as we come down here, we do have some other information that we need. So we need to confirm the payment details. So that's your credit card details. We also need to go through those safety certifications and then we can complete the payment. So let's say I want to buy a hundred US dollars worth of Bitcoin. You can do that. So we'll just type in a hundred right here. Yeah. And I think the minimum is $15 as you can see, and the maximum is 5,000 US dollars. Now, if you put some of your information on account, some of your ID information, I think those limits can be increased up to about $25,000, I think at the current time of filming, but certainly 15 is the least that you can do. You can go a thousand. What's really great is it's gonna tell you how many Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies that you can buy. So for every thousand dollars, you can buy 0 0.028820 of Bitcoin. So I'm just gonna do 100 right here you can see it's obviously moved down a decimal place so as we come down we just want to confirm that it is bitcoin that we want to buy and i don't have any cards on account right now because this is a tutorial account but you can very easily set that up. As I said, it's just like putting your card details into Amazon. And then we can come to buy a BTC, or if it was Ethereum, it would be buy you know, the ticker for that currency. Now, identity verification, let's go and verify it now like this. And here's the information that you need. 
you need your first and last name, date of birth, residential address, and then you need some ID proving your residential address. As I said in the UK, driving license is good and your ID card in other countries. And you can go through and start that. Now, if I just click out of there, you can also come to basic info and it actually clicks you right into it. You can come up to here, come to your dashboard by clicking this one. And then we're on dashboard right now. We can come down to settings right here and then basic info and it's all the same. So you do have to verify that, get all of that on account before you can start trading. Like I said, credit cards are the most expensive way and I think it's you know a few percent to buy. Now, cheaper ways to do it are to use a bank deposit. Now this is, I think using Swift. So if you have uh, US dollars on account, then you can deposit them right here. So how we do that is we come to deposit and then fiat currency, then we can choose the currency that we do want to deposit. Most are accepted. So you can just search for them right here. So GBP, you can see pound sterling is here. So I can click that and I can use the payment method available for that currency. Right here, you can see that a bank card or a visa is actually charged 1.8% to deposit money on account using a bank card. So if you're using sterling, that's really good. Or you can use the faster payment service, which is actually completely free of charge. So if you want to deposit money onto the Binance account, then these are the options. Now, it does take longer. Credit card is the fastest way to buy cryptocurrency. You can literally use your credit card and buy straight away. When you are depositing cash, it may take up to a few days for that fiat currency to actually land in your Binance account. And then you have the ability to go and trade. So just to be really clear about that. And then as any deposit histories will be down here, as you can see, go through to verify your identity exactly the same way. And then depending on the currency that you have, the payment systems are going to be slightly different because obviously all the countries are different and the services are different. I'm not going to go into depositing cryptocurrencies too much because obviously if you have those already, you're probably not a beginner. Just to make you aware though that Binance obviously does accept deposits of cryptocurrencies as well. So if you have a different service provider, maybe you have Coinbase or Kraken or some other exchange that you have some cryptocurrency on, then you can transfer that into your Binance account. And the way that you do that is simply by copying the address of your account right here. Now, each cryptocurrency may be slightly different. So let's click on this one, for example. You'll have a QR code that you can scan with your mobile phone or you can copy the address right here. So this is the address of your Binance account that people want to transfer Ethereum can use. So that's really great. It's a really good option. Obviously, if you're a beginner, then you probably don't have this, but you can see you can actually withdraw as well. So you can withdraw cryptocurrencies to other cryptocurrency wallets or you can withdraw fiat currency as well. So if you have some Bitcoin and you wanna sell that into US dollars and then withdraw it, you can do that right here. Again, just verify your identity, make sure the account details are correct and you'll be good to go. What you might want to do as well is actually trade uh, cryptocurrencies in the app and I'll show you how to do that now. So like I said, advanced trading screens, we're not gonna go through those in this tutorial, but we can come right here to convert and this is really important to understand as well. Binance offers an over-the-counter or an OTC portal to uh, sell and buy cryptocurrencies. So just like using US dollars or euros or pound sterling and putting that into your account to buy Bitcoin, you can also trade two cryptocurrencies. This is known as currency pairs. What we can do is convert one cryptocurrency to another cryptocurrency. So I actually have some Bitcoin on account, a very small amount, but you can see here that the amount available I have is 0.00 blah, 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 32. Now, if I want to use those Bitcoins that I have on account, because this is obviously a holding of currency, I can sell those to buy another currency. So let's say that I want to sell some Bitcoin in order to buy some Ethereum. I can do that. You can choose between all the supported currencies in Binance. You can see many here. So Dogecoin, I can pick. And what I can do is actually trade my Bitcoin. So I'm just going to enter the amount of Bitcoin that I have. And how many Dogecoin does that get? I can actually preview that conversion. So you can change it to absolutely any currency that you want. Now there's gonna be differences here because maybe the amount of Bitcoin that I have isn't sufficient to actually buy uh, dash, which you can see it isn't here because the exchange rate is too high. So I don't actually have enough money to go and uh, exchange my Bitcoin for Binance coin. But that is how you would convert two currencies. So if you had some Bitcoin on account and wanted to buy another currency, just put it in here, preview the conversion, go through and Binance will do this for you. 
Like I said, this is more like a brokerage service. And so you aren't really gonna have too much control over the prices that you get. So this is essentially like an exchange rate and you don't really have much control over the exchange rate that you get between these two currencies. Like I said, if we go to the advanced trading screen, you have complete control over not just the amount of the exchange rate, but also the volume in which you are trading in. If you do wanna know more about that, like I said, I've got those videos, go and check them out on the channel. How about though, if you want to sell some cryptocurrencies and actually trade out of your positions and take that back into a fiat currency. So let's say that I want to cash out of my Bitcoin right now and I wanna bring this back into US dollars. Well, what you have to do is come up to buy crypto. Then you can come up to either credit card or debit card right here. And instead of buying crypto, as you can see, this small link to sell crypto, you can do that right here. And this is a different service. So you can see buy and sell cryptocurrency. Now, what is happening is that we have the currency right here that we want to sell. In this case, Bitcoin. And you can see you will receive then you can choose your currency right here. Now, you can choose any fiat currency that you want. So if I put GBP in here, you can see it searches for pound sterling. EUR is Euro USD. You get the idea. So you can choose the fiat currency that you want to receive from Binance. And how many of the cryptocurrency that you hold do you want to sell? Once again, I don't actually have enough on account to even trade. But if we go to US dollar, just click on US dollar. And I think the minimum, I think is 100 US dollars worth. So if I put 100 in here, you can see I don't have enough on account, but I think the limit is 100. So you can either choose how many Bitcoin you want to sell or choose the uh, receiving fiat currency, how much you actually want to receive. So, you know, I want a thousand US dollars. It will work that out for you. Like I said before, you have no control over the exchange rate here. Binance are going to just give you an exchange rate. Might be good, might be bad, but it is without a doubt the easiest way to do things. Just tell them how much you want to receive and they will do everything for you. Just to finish off this simple tutorial, I wanna come over to the wallet so you can see all of the holdings in your account. So we actually come to wallet over here, just press overview. Now, if you have bought Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency, all of your holdings will be here for you. You can see I actually have a Bitcoin and another cryptocurrency on account. I also have some pound sterling as well, worth absolutely nothing. All of your holdings will be here for you. And if you want to withdraw or transfer them, those options are right here for you. And if you just come to fear and spot, any currencies that you hold will be valued at the current spot rate. That is the exchange rate for those currencies. Fiat currencies like pound sterling or euros will be in here as well. So fiat and spot balance, as you can see here, spot balance of cryptocurrencies and fiat balance of uh, currencies that are not crypto. So dollars, pounds, you can see them all here and you can also see your holdings uh, right down here as well. So Binance is one of the biggest names in cryptocurrencies. So definitely if you're a beginner, it's very easy to come and pay with a credit card or a bank deposit. And the fees are quite competitive overall. Now, if you do want to grow with the platform, then you can use those more advanced trading options as I showed you briefly. And you can watch those tutorials on the channel. But I think Binance overall is pretty decent. If you wanna go ahead and sign up for Binance, I'll leave that link in the description for you so you know you're going through to the right place when you sign up. You can just follow along with this tutorial or now that you know, you can just go through and see if Binance is for you. Uh, best of luck with your crypto trading though. That's it for this one. Subscribe if you haven't done already and I'll see you in the next one.